I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hi, I'm Luke Ryan for JoeBlow.com and welcome to Top 5 Movie Mistakes. Whether it's Gone with the Wind or The Room, in every movie, somewhere along the way, someone has screwed up. Oh, hi, Mark. So far in this series, we've seen a boatload of movie mistakes, but we've never taken a look at an animated film. I mean, there can't be mistakes in animation, right? You're not about to see an extra bang his head on a door in the background or spot a crew member hiding in the corner of the shot. Animators meticulously pour over every single frame of animated films, so surely nothing could slip through the gaps. Well, you'd be surprised, and with Pixar's Finding Dory hitting the big screens this month with a few familiar underwater faces, what would be more appropriate to test the waters than with Finding Nemo? Let's take a look. Number 5. When Nemo's parents take a look at all of their cute little clownfish eggs, the first shot of them peeking inside the cave doesn't actually show any of them, waiting for the reveal in this cut. When we come back to that same shot of them at the mouth of the cave, the eggs are now way in shot, and if you compare the two, it doesn't quite add up. This kind of detail being missed does kind of surprise me coming from Pixar. Number 4. In this scene where the dentist pulls Nemo out of the fish tank, you can clearly see that he's using a Ziploc bag. In the next shot, he ties up the bag, and the Ziploc edge is nowhere to be seen. Number 3. Another mistake in the dentist's office comes when he is struggling with the pelican Nigel, who, by the way, is a brown pelican, a species only found in the Americas, not in Australia where the movie is set, but we'll let that one slide. Take note of the poster on the wall. It changes position, a and I know that it's such a minor detail, but how did that happen? Who moved it? Why did they move it? I, I can only assume it's down to the fact that different animators work on different shots, but it's the same shot, but with different character movements. Ugh. Number two, when all of the aquarium fish end up in the ocean inside their bags, the water inside them reaches far above sea level. This just doesn't work at all because water cannot be lighter than water, and realistically the bags would be submerged up until the point of where the air is left. Yes, that's right, I just complained about realism in an animated film where fish talk and- Alright, fine, forget it. How about this? When Dory has been injured and sports a pretty painful looking scar across her side, after about 20 minutes the scar just completely vanishes. And not just for a shot, mind you, it disappears for the rest of the entire film. So there, that's a mistake. Number one, when Marlin is tragically left with only one egg, he sadly reaches down to pick it up. Note how short his fins are. I mean, he wouldn't even be able to clap this so short. And oh, no, nope, yep, there you go. Somehow, impossibly, is able to reach around and cup the tiny little cute egg. Come on, Pixar. Just a little bit of common sense. That is all I ask of you. I mean, uh, wait a second. Let's, let's just watch this. 